And as those crime concerns are continuing across the city, the New Orleans Police Department reportedly has less than a thousand officers for the first time in modern history. As David Hammer reports, there's a new effort to build up that depleted force. Shaken by rising violent crime rates and viral images of gun-toting youth attacking a lonely police car last Sunday, the New how, Orleans City Council voted today to nearly double down. the budget Everybody's for police recruitment. Face. I mean, you cannot operate a department that's made for roughly 1,400 officers when it has less than 1,000. Now, the city is losing about 100 officers every year to retirement and resignation. They want to hire 88 new officers this year, but the first recruiting class of the year only had 18 prospective officers. So the council approved increasing funding to the New Orleans Police and Justice Foundation's officer recruitment program from $500,000 to $900,000 a year. Police and Justice Foundation President Melanie Talia says the problem isn't with recruiting applicants. There is no shortage of interest in joining the New Orleans Police Department. We get on average two to three hundred applications a month. She says the problem is getting prospective officers through the application process, especially the city's civil service exam, which is now only offered in person in New Orleans. Talia says the foundation is working to hire a remote testing company to make the tests available to applicants online anywhere in the world. But City Councilman Oliver Thomas says the situation is so dire right now, more must be done immediately to bring back applicants who may have been rejected for having minor infractions on their record. I think we're to the point now where we need to go back and revisit those people, put a call out, see if we can fix that minor thing that stopped them from being accepted into the recruit class. Without significant changes right away, Thomas says the city could be forced to call in the National Guard for help. David Hammer, Eyewitness News.